but then a car, uh, yeah, there's a leg and some scrap. I've uh, just ran like 600 kilometers. Is it kilometers or meters? Not kilometers, 600 kilometers. I haven't just run 600 kilometers. I'd be a raisin. I'd have no moisture left in my body and my knees would just be uh, the wrong way around. I'd be like one of those creatures from the back rooms or some sort of cryptoid or something like that. <sighs> just ran with my head coach and uh, the cow. Did you see the cow? I'm going to be walking by some people but I'm not going to turn the camera off this stuff. Fucking uh, doing exercise every day. Cows are like autists. It's licking some sort of box attached to a tree. Fucking no peace and quiet in this world. Walking by people all the time. every single day. Once a month's enough for me. And uh, I don't even have... I, I had shoes. This area is really muddy. I've twisted my ankle and my knee a whole bunch of times. And this motherfucker. This is uh, the speed that British people think at. We only uh, we don't have uh, stimulation like you people do in America, where you have to be on your phones all the time and shit, and you're drinking like sugary drinks all the time. In England, we got no brain power. I'm the best you've got <laughs> in this area, anyway. Probably not. It's probably a lot of smart people. But there's a lot of older people that walk around here, and families as well. I think all the people are not smarter, but they do have a lot more data. I'm going to walk up a little hill into some fields so I can get off of this road, so I don't have to constantly fucking have to stop talking about the dirty subjects that I always like to talk about whenever I'm walking by. Like uh, a few ramblers, they're dogs. Always got the dogs staring me down. And I'm, it doesn't happen every time, but dogs don't like me. I get barked at by these little dogs all the time. It's the little dogs. There's this one fat guy who had a. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if it was a golden retriever, it was a black dog, it's uh, not a little dog, it was like a medium sized dog, and it was really energetic, and it ran up and tried to jump on me, it's not the first dog in these past months that have done that, it's trying to jump on me, trying to nip at my fingers, <sighs> running circles around me and just really energetic and happy. And the guy was saying sorry, but I was like, it's fine, it's fine. I don't, I don't really care. As long as I'm not bitten by the dog, because then I have to punch the dog, and then the owners get mad at me, and they get mad at the dog, and then there's this whole thing, and I've got bitten. I've been bitten by dogs before, and fuck that. Because what, it's, it's, it's just, it's, some, it's stupid. It's stupid when uh, these fucking things happen. I don't need it in my life. Next time a uh, dog tries... Well, yeah, the thing is, it's like... There are times when uh, dogs have ran up to me. And they're really energetic and playful and they run around you. But you don't know if they're ever going to fucking bite you or not. So if you preemptively front kick it, like the owner just automatically gets uh, mad at you. And I've never front kicked a dog and I had to have an argument with someone, but I, I, I've been around people who uh, have like had dogs run around them and then they get really angry and start shouting at the uh, person who owns the dog. It's, it's, 
I don't want to cause any trouble. The dog is just a little retard. It's just a little living being that just wants to have fun. Maybe uh, it's young, maybe it's not trained. Maybe he hasn't been around uh, people a lot. Uh, dogs. I, I don't like the people who like uh, just let the, the dogs keep on doing that. Or they don't even try and call the dogs away. They're, they're, they might even be smirking or something. And talk, talking about dogs as well, yesterday I was walking uh, back to my house, walking up a road, a van blasting rave music really loud uh, was slowly going uh, down a hill then uh, I think when they saw me or something they sped up and uh, drove by and there were like three people in the back of the van sitting with the van doors open whistling and shouting and then three dogs with like no collars come fucking running after the van like uh, I think you what was going on with COVID turning uh, Young men, uh, crazy. What country are we living in? We went back in time for that moment. It's pretty funny. And then another van came after that one, like, uh, following. I, I don't. They were, I don't know if they were uh, training the dogs how to run after, to, how to do like tactical maneuvers or something. They, they like, while while the van's moving, they open the van. The dogs jump out. They like bite someone, then they jump back in the van and they drive away or something. I don't know what they were trying to train the dogs to do. And I don't know if they were pikeys or... I don't know what's going on. Like I said before in the video, I'm, uh, I'm the best uh, you've got out of uh, the people in Kent. We are the English people. I'm the pride of England and I, my brain only works at uh, two thoughts a minute. If I'm lucky, 2.5 volts uh, per minute. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be walking by some people. Maybe I should have taken the other way. Whoa! See, I'm talking about duh. I'm walking the other way. I don't really want to walk. Uh, I, I basically just need a long stretch of road where I can turn this on and I don't see any people so I can go crazy. Go stupid. I shake my head around and Say blah blah blah. blah. Oh, the fuck some porn stars. And uh, I wish my head coach was a woman. That would be cool. I, I wonder what uh, he would look like if he was a woman. I probably shouldn't have thoughts like that because uh, it's kind of gay. <laughs> I th I fuck you if you're a woman. Uh, nope. <sighs> no pussy. Pussy makes a man's. Uh, you know David Bowie's song, Fame. They should change, uh, they should do like a new version. Get like uh, new age rappers to do something with it. Change, change it from fame to pussy. Pussy makes a man think things of a do -do 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 -do. Pussy makes a man lose his mind. I don't know the statistics for how many people are virgins in this world, but it's probably, uh, they're saying it's like growing, isn't it? And then in the future where there's technology, to be able to do like automated sex robots and the, these places where you don't even have to talk to another human being or like pleasure domes or something that Sam Hyde was talking about. Sam Hyde uh, wrote a really uh, cool story and he did like a play with the sound effects and stuff on a YouTube video on like a live stream. I found that, I found that very, very funny. I think he's a, he's a good comedian, he can talk well, and he's a philosopher as well. He's not, I don't, I don't know, he's the best we've, I don't know if he's the best we've got, but he's, he's like, he's someone that's working on trying to fucking red pill people. Everybody needs a little bit of a red pill because you might have uh, like a bird. They usually fly away like uh, ages. Oh, by the way, talking about birds, I, I saw a dead pheasant on the uh, side of a road. 
and I rolled it onto the road. I don't know if that's illegal to like put stuff on the road, like probably is. Everything is illegal. We're all guilty until proven innocent. I I, I was uh, looking on YouTube for some short films. Don't really do it a lot, but I, I like to watch different styles of arts and. Uh, Autoville. There's like a British uh, cartoonist and story maker, and he's designed this world called Autoville, where it's basically a dictatorship of robots that are uh, that have enslaved like some humans. Then there's uh, lizards, which are and uh, basically the people there have been like manipulated into uh, uh, being a part of a dictatorship and. Uh, being happy with their place in it and it's a little uh, it was meant to be like unsettling and meant to quest uh, meant to like say oh, this is bad or meant to draw attention to uh, like uh, how we act in certain situations uh, it's pretty cool I think if you want to have a look at that type in Autoville on YouTube or Type in, uh, I, I forget the name of the YouTube channel, but it had a yin and a yang as a, a viewing thing. And it also, um, yeah, I don't know the name of the YouTube channel, I might say in another video. Um, what else have I learned? What else have I been doing? actually a lot every day. Can you give me a second to, uh, oh yeah, finish watching the latest Fargo, I think, Fargo season four. They killed everyone in it. Chris Rock did a good job in that. I kind of forgive him for his uh, role in the Madagascar series as a zebra. I don't think I can ever forgive him for that, but I kind of do. Is cool, and then when they like they always connect uh, it, I found it cool that at the end they connected the, uh, his kid to uh, the gangster from the second epi uh, from the second season. I don't mind people looking at me, but don't look at me when I'm making videos, damn it. The people. You know what I'm telling you? People are fucking looking at me. Do look at me whenever I have this uh, damn iPad on. Yeah, damn chickens. What <sighs> is life? We here just to suffer. I like that little speech from uh, whatever Metal Gear game it was. I think Metal Gear Phantom Pain. I can still feel my arm and my leg. So, I, I like that. Uh, is it Hideo Kashima? Is that his name, Hideo Kashima? Death Stranding. I think I already talked about Death Stranding, but uh, it's, it's like it's boring, but then it also has moments within it that are uh, very hard to achieve in arts and in games. I think it's. Uh, A lot of uh, great concepts. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen's good. Mads Mikkelsen's just a good actor. He's okay. He's really uh, good. In, uh, I, you know, I don't fucking know anything. I think he, he was good. In, I liked him in Casino Royale. I say that with the bleeding eye and a uh, big rope that he used to smush James Bond's balls. Like, don't kink shame. Do King Shen. Dirty things happen in all of these houses that I always walk by. Well, uh, if, and if nothing, then what is life? What is life? Fucking do whatever you want. Just if it's something bad, 
you know, don't do it to me, or I'll eat your flesh, like Tara, a human stomach, and they won't find your bodies. I'll take you to Yosemite National Park, I'll tie you up, and I'll, I'll, I'll do some calls, like to the extraterrestrials, and they'll, they'll take you, uh, I, I, I want to be taken away. Even though everyone who gets taken away dies. I believe in aliens. And I believe in miracles. So you came along. Uh, you ugly thing. I'm the sixth. Look, look at the squirrel. Can you see that? Uh, I, I don't even know. Can you see that damn squirrel? I don't know if, I don't know where I'm pointing the damn thing, I don't know if, like, can you see that squirrel? Is it too high? Is the camera, is the camera alright? I, I hope you saw that squirrel. So, all of the animals that I've been talking about today, is, and the cows, I, I showed you the cows, I showed you the humans, I showed you the squirrels, I showed you the birds, I talked about the pheasant. Pheasant had like uh, its neck missing. I don't think it was shot out. I think it, uh, but I don't know what could have like bitten through uh, the pheasant's neck because it was a really tiny, uh, it was a small hole. The whole neck was like uh, ripped out and the, the body was just intact. <sighs> it wasn't there yesterday, so it must have died within uh, 12 hours. So I probably should have taken it. But then I don't know like, if there's any diseases that can pass from pheasant meat to uh, humans. No, with, there's all kinds of... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't care about holding like, the dead bo body of a pheasant. I don't care about blood and like, death and all this fucking uh, shit. I'm just thinking, like, what's it going to do to my uh, stomach? What's it going to do to uh, my body? Seen all kinds of that. I, I hear like owls at night. I don't really see badgers. So I've only seen badgers like two or three times in uh, the 10 years or 11 years that I've uh, been living around here. I think it's because they come out at night usually. Oh, that foxes scare me. Like when I was walking out uh, 2 a.m. Uh, I was going up uh, the hill into uh, into Cuxton. Yeah, that's a real place, guys. Cuxton. You cuck. I was, uh, and I got uh, the shit scared out of me by like a fox that was right next to me. And it just screamed like those uh, women, like those female foxes do. Like, uh, like a woman being stabbed to death, a fox was screaming right in my ear. <laughs> and it, it, it did uh, startle me. But that hasn't happened for a while. I don't, really, I don't like walking at night, I've said it before, like my ankles and my knees just get twisted up. I, I can't see it where I'm fucking going. Even during the day, like I'll be walking on mud and then I'll, I, I fall down like four times a year. Fucking, and there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, like, I could buy these shoes with spikes and shit. I could have, like, an exoskeleton that, like, bounces me up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's... It, I don't know. Some, sometimes I'm just meant to fall. Sometimes I'm meant to rise. Rise me up. Like, uh... When Donald Trump smacked, uh... Vince McMahon. What? Who? How would what? Battle of the billionaires. Was Michael Jordan a billionaire? And like uh, Dennis Rodman isn't, and uh, Scotty Pippen isn't a millionaire either. What would Dennis Rodman do? Ah, fucking more people. I'm fucking turning this shit off. <sighs> Twenty minutes is enough. My life wasted. Morning. Morning. Good. <laughs>
days can be had if you decide it's a good day. Even if it's a, even if it's the worst day in your life and you decide that it's a good day, it's a good day. So have yourself a motherfucking good day. And breed that pussy.